In this series, we will go over some of the more interesting problems that I've encountered in quant interviews. In a triangle with sides 45, 60 and 75 respectively, what is the expected sum of distances from a point to its sides? For this question, I was given 5 minutes. You can pause the video and try to find the answer, and I'll see you back here. So this problem is about a triangle and a point lying inside of it. But this particular triangle doesn't seem right. Our side ratios are different. We know that the sides are equal to 45, 60 and 75, which are proportional to 3, 4 and 5, which is a Pythagorean triple. So, our original side lengths are as well. More formally, you would use the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. For any triangle with sides A, B, and C, if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then the angle between A and B measures 90 degrees. This is the case for our sides, so we do have a right triangle. Let's fix our drawing. Now let's take a point x, y and draw the three distances. Two of them are easy to compute, they are just y and x, but the third is a bit trickier. We see that it would come up in an area formula, so we go on and compute ABC's area in two ways. First, using the area formula in triangle ABC. Then, as the sum of areas of triangle AXC, CXB and BXA. Once we combine the two equations, we have a formula for H. Now we plug this into our initial sum and we have a simplified version of it. We reduced our problem. Let's recap. We now have an easy and clear formula through which we can find the sum of distances for any given point. We just need to compute its expected value. Using linearity, this can be further simplified. From now on, we'll only need this. Let's take a detour and compute the line equation for AB. We'll need it later. We just plug in our coordinates into the usual formula and get the equation. First, let's start with the most straightforward approach. Our expected value is given by the formula on the screen. Note that x ranges between 0 and 60, while y is bounded within 0 and the value given by the AB line. Now, just computing the integrals and plugging the value in the formula from the corner, we arrive at that result, 47. We do have an easier option though. We can compute expectation of x and expectation of y separately. For expectation of x, we integrate between 0 and 60 the function x times density of x. We do the same for y, changing the interval and the density function. Again, using linearity, we get the same result, 47. But we can be even more clever. Using the center of mass formula, we see that ABC's center of mass is the point 20, 15. This implies that expectation of x is 20 and expectation of y is 15. And we get to our final result, 47, without using any integrals. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to be notified when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem below or on the problems dedicated to webpage. For more info, please check the description box below. See you next time!